Hey everybody, I uh, got this from my good friend uh, Joseph Wilbur, and, and this is a uh, King James, of course, a giant print presentation edition reference dictionary concordance national publish company, and the cover's kind of a a bonded leather type, kind of a paper bonded leather. It is a uh, a paste down. And this Bible is uh, 11 inches <laughs> by 8 and a half. It's an inch and a half thick. It doesn't have the gold gilding. Uh, I would if I was a pastor or a preacher I would love to have this on my pulpit. Now of course it's a, a cheesy uh cover a little bit but it's kinda laying flat right off the bat. Uh and it's got some really cool features. It is a glued um thing. A uh, national publishing company printed in the United States. Wow. Uh, at the very beginning, it has how uh, the Bible, Bible came to us. I have to hold the camera back. This thing is big, folks. Uh, but look at that print. New Testament, early writing, recordings. I, it's got a lot of really good stuff that I haven't seen before in the Bible. A Babylon Egyptian writing. This is all on how the Bible came to us. Uh, why read the Bible? And uh, it's got a one year uh, daily Bible reading plan. Very nice. Um, and then you've got your uh, your Bible books in alphabetical order and then your uh, Bible books showing here. And you get right into the text. Look at that text, folks. Now, we're in Genesis and it is laying. I mean, it's not laying perfect flat. It's that, you know, but... Uh, for glued bonded leather, that's pretty good in Genesis, folks. Look at that print. Very nice. I mean, if you were, uh, let's look at, uh, if you were a preacher or something, uh, you could just put this on your pulpit and it would be great. Uh, I don't know if I would carry this around because, I mean, it, let me see here. Here's my carry Bible. There's Psalms, by the way, I just want to show you in the book of Psalms. It's a 15.5, uh, this is my Bible I'm carrying at the moment. And you can see how much bigger uh, this Bible is as far as largeness. Uh, open. But uh, see the print there and the print here. And look at how clear this is. And I don't think this was a very expensive. I think he got this for uh, 20 bucks or something, he told me. Thank you to Joseph Wilbur, by the way, uh, for getting this for me. I really like it. I'm going to use it in my studies while I'm at home. I got one on the the truck, the uh, Thomas Nelson Comfort print I absolutely love. And I'll use that on the truck, but I'll use this one while I'm home. I don't know that this one would hold up so good on the truck. Uh, I'm pretty rough on Bibles, folks. 
but look at that print. And it's just a basic text only. Uh, it's got the, you know, your little bit of headers up here, but nothing real. But it's got that uh, very good red print. Um, it's almost that darker maroon, if you know what I mean. The camera's not really doing it justice, but very clear, very good and consistent throughout. I'm impressed. National Publishing, Com Publishing Company. I've never even heard. I had, this is the first Bible I've ever had from it. Uh, yeah, no problem here reading this book. A very nice Bible. And the print is not, you know, in a lot of cheaper Bibles like this, you'll get the light and the dark. This is very consistent. I wish I knew, I remember, I think he said he, he didn't pay much more than uh, $20 uh, for this Bible, which it is definitely worth that. It does have a, a, a margin, too. I mean, if you carried this Bible and you, or you wanted to take notes, uh, you know, it's not a wide margin, but uh, that margin's uh, three quarters of an inch on a top and a uh, half inch. I mean, uh, three quarters on the side and then half inch on the top and bottom. So, I mean, if you wanted to take a few notes in this Bible... Plus it has, and I've, uh, I like it when they put the names of the books out here where you can just, especially with a Bible this size, where you can go like that right there and find the book that you're looking for instead of putting it here uh, where you actually have to look, you know, like that. You can just flip uh, in a large Bible. I like that about this. And uh, at the back here, we've got some good, really cool features uh, that I've never seen before uh, in a Bible. Life and Bible times, Hebrew calendar, uh, musical instruments, musical notations in the Psalms, business terms, crafts and professions, tools, kings of Israel, uh, judges of Israel, the twelve disciples, uh, seven last uh, words of Christ, uh, the early Christian churches, money coins, weights, and precious metals, measures of area, measures of capacity, dry measures, measures of length, natural history of the Bible, hills and mountains. That's cool. Uh, trees, shrubs, flowers, herbs, spices. I've never seen that in the Bible. Unfamiliar words, which is always good if you have a King James. Uh, and a Bible dictionary and concordance. So this thing really has quite a bit of stuff in it. Um, for it not to be a study Bible or anything. Business terms. You got your judges of uh, Israel. Uh, the 12 disciples. Uh, the seven last words of Jesus. I mean, it's just right there, right, uh, this is, this would be a wonderful pulpit Bible, uh, money coins and measures, and then, and it gives a pretty good ex explanation, uh, for all those, so I really like that, measures of the area, I've never seen that, uh, in any of my Bibles, measures of length, And a Sabbath day journey. I mean, just got all kind of stuff. Natural uh, history of the Bible. You got shrubs, flowers, herbs, spices. I mean, this is really something like I I just haven't seen a lot of this. Maybe you have. I, you know, I don't have every Bible in the whole world. Unfamiliar words, which I really like this. Uh, so if you're not real familiar with the King James Bible, you know you got uh, or uh, the archaic, so-called archaic uh, language. 
and it'll give you a definition on a lot of stuff, uh, which is very nice. And it's pretty big. It's got quite a bit. Uh, and then you got your uh, Bible dictionary and concordance. And it's about, let's see, 46 pages long, which is, you know, not a real. Of course, if you, uh, if you got one of these phones or a computer or anything, just get you a a Strong's Concordance app, and you, it's way faster, <laughs> uh, that's how I look everything up, uh, now these maps are different than any maps I've ever seen, uh, Jerusalem and vicinity, I've never seen maps quite like this, which is refreshing, very refreshing, this is Galilea, the locality of Jesus' childhood and earthly uh, ministry and give you the elevations. Oh, it's an, uh, yeah, okay. It gives you the elevation of the uh, land of Israel. Where do you find that? You never can find that in the Bible, do you? And here's your missionary journeys of Paul. actually got it going right well most of them will put him under there and the Bible said he went above Cyprus alright let's see here what else do we got one more map the Holy Land very nice you got a this is like cardboard paper, like the, uh, almost like what, uh, you had in school. And again, it's, a, you know, kind of a, you got one of those, it's a paste down liner. I don't even know if that, this is actual, uh, I'm not sure that that's actually bonded leather or just kind of a paperback that looks like bonded leather. But it's the context that matters. It is a glued. Again, it's not sewn. But a very inexpensive King James Bible that anybody could see. And uh, I really like the giant print uh, Bibles. So thank you, Joseph uh, Wilbur, my beloved brother in Christ. And that's my review of the uh, National Public company king james giant print bible and i guess i will call that bonded leather all right lord bless you have a wonderful day and whatever you do folks read these bibles uh, they don't do you no good on the shelf and uh what a wonderful wonderful bible that would make one good pulpit bible for a preacher wouldn't it all right, have a wonderful day, and uh, oh, here's the I, uh, the number, and it's National uh, Publishing Publishing Company. All right, have a wonderful day, folks. God bless you.